Okay, check this out. We're doing the, the bomber seat for at Memorial High School, and we're having a problem with extra material. See, it's got that, it's got that wobble right here. Hold this up for me. It's got that extra material wobble. So, I'm Mr. G. We're at Memorial High School. We're doing a sheet metal bomber seat, and we're doing bead rolls in sheet metal, but we're having a problem with once you the bead takes up takes up material you get this you get this extra wobble in there we're going to solve it we want a flat panel now to demonstrate this what i did was i took paper you see and a paper see sheet metal is just like thick paper so what i did was i folded it but i didn't go all the way you see and when you do that you can see what happens this goes up like this, right? But also over here. So what we did in the past was we would we would just shrink on the edges here. Come around here and then just shrink down the edge there. Uh, is there another example of that? Yeah, let me have that right there. We would shrink in here and shrink in here. Then that would get our, our panel to be flat -er. Now this is, we experimented with heat shrinking as well. So, but we went, we were doing some research and it turns out that um, there's some people on the web doing something where they pre-stretch it on a, uh, on an English wheel. They pre-stretch this, that's on Eastwood's website. Um, and when I was thinking about that, because you're taking up material, you see you're taking up material, right? So if you could pre-stretch it, then you'd have an extra material. But we're trying to solve it after the fact. So we're thinking either maybe we could stretch right next to it, or we could shrink in here. We're definitely going to shrink over here, that's for sure. All right, that's basically it. Tune in uh, again for another update on the sheet metal project. These guys are doing awesome. All right, this thing's going to be amazing looking. It's got its sides and everything. All right. Mr. G Memorial High School, see you later.